Hello! We just sat through the Shame Awards for three plus hours, and we're back to talk to you about the Sonic movie and everything we saw. Welcome to FTCR. I'm Chris Meekings fan. With me, I have Steven Smoothies. Hi! I got Stefan Games Enlisted, and Whoa. I have David. David the Lurker. Oh. Oh. Uh, the Sonic movie, it's been a long road to get to a second it's one. It's been a long road. But we're here. Road. Do you think they started making it immediately after the first one? Well, it depends on what you mean by making exactly, because there's, of course, the whole... There's pre-production, then there's the scripting process, then there's the more pre-production, and then actual start filming, and then post-production, so it's like... I feel like it was probably like a month... Well, because it was like a month after the first movie came out is when they're like, okay, we made enough money, a second movie's greenlit. So then, like, it was right there, then they probably started being like, okay, now start writing the script, and then... However many months later, then, like, they slowly started being like, okay, this is how we're going to do it. And then, because I think they, they started filming, like, earlier this year. So, like, they had a, they had a, a decent, I mean, like, I mean, it's like two mo to about two years in between. It's like, yeah, that that is, like, normal for, like, a big budget movie like this. Not bad with COVID thrown in there. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Uh, to, to set the tone early on, I, we should probably say, uh, we're all actually very excited for this movie. It looks so good! <laughs> Oh, the trailer was oh amazing. My God. Yeah. I... There was emotions in our call when this thing was playing. It was crazy. That's right. You should have recorded <laughs> it. It would have been content. <laughs> oh, man. React. Pogged. We... Pog for the thumbnail. Pognail. <laughs> Is that what they do? Pognail. <laughs> that, that sounds, Pog sounds like you go to the doctor for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I don't have medical insurance, so I guess I'll die. <laughs> gotta have Steven, anyway. gotta have a Steven Pog. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man. Yeah. Oh, oh smooth Pog. But yes, yes. So the second Sonic movie. This one seems to be a Sonic movie, and that's kind of exciting. Right. I I believe when we when we talked about uh well like when when the first movie finally came out and we we did some round tabling, I was like, Oh, wow, mm -hmm. you know, like the Sonic movie felt like a movie that was about Sonic the Hedgehog, even though it was still all like real world thingamabobs. Like it was focused on Sonic. But this one well, this one feels like it's it's a Sonic movie, you know? Yes. Sonic. <laughs> it's very it's Oh. <laughs> Sonic. This this trailer feels more exciting than probably any of the parts of the first film, I would say. So Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, um I, I definitely agree with that. Did yeah. we at the end at the end of the first movie? Did we end up in Seattle at all? Because do we see Seattle in no. this trailer? We what, what, no, what was he, that? He still lives in Green Hills Zone. Uh, right. We we at the end of the movie. Right. We saw a bit of was San Francisco, not, but but Seattle. Was that not the needle? That was. I mean, in in the trailer here, that looked like the Seattle needle. Yeah. Um, Seattle was not in the first movie. Seattle is in this movie. So. I mean, okay. it could also be possible that 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 the song, like that being in like by by after living uh, with Tom and Maddie, Sonic's able to figure out where everything in the world is, so he can just run to wherever. So he's like, I know where Seattle is. I'm gonna run to Seattle and then just dust stuff in Seattle. <laughs> oh, maybe that's like the intro to the movie. Sonic's being like a freelance vigilante, just always running around anywhere in case someone needs him. Right, he mm. he bought a uh, <laughs> he bought an atlas. That's what he did. Yeah, it is funny that is it funny that that, there, that there, there's a Batman reference and not a Flash reference because you think that would be the easy that'd be the easy thing to do. Well, we did Flash in the first movie. Right, he's, fair, he's, he's fair, going down yeah. the path. Sonic is clearly a DC fan. Uh, that's what I. Have to... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, he oh. was online begging for the Snyder cut for years, and he finally got what he wanted. He did. Man. That's why he went to Seattle to to watch it. That's where it premiered, right? <laughs> <laughs> When he was, when he was standing on that building and he ate a chili dog, I was like, I I would have preferred if he said, "Oh yeah, this is happening," instead of eating a chili dog. I think that would have been better. Oh, I mean, we, I we don't we don't know if he's actually gonna we don't know if he's actually gonna say it in the movie because right now it's just it's just filler trailer speak. But it's like, yeah, there's true. There is definitely time for them to go and add that in in that scene. Mm. Uh, that is true, because uh, even though everything is filmed, because the the primary Sonic cast is all CG, they 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 can change everything to the day of if they wanted to. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that's true. No, no, they can change. Well, they can well, just I mean, ship the like... patch out to the projectors, <laughs> and it'll be fine. Don't yeah, worry yeah. about it. Well, just like cats. Well, a few weeks before, 
at least. Minutes. Minutes before. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah like the, the move it's it's like clear it's like it's the most like obvious like thing of like, oh, give people what they want, give stuff that they recognize and they'll like it, but it's like sometimes it's just sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's just here. He give give you stuff you give stuff that you recognize and put it in like new environments that mm-hmm. you're surprised to be like oh they're actually doing this or they're actually doing this and it's like it just yeah it's just like just being like let's see stuff that we know like oh we know tails and like seeing tails flying the tornado is just oh my god that looks so cool seeing a big emerald and seeing a temple that's in the emerald is like oh my god oh. what does that mean and then seeing such a big emerald and then seeing knuckles just grab Sonic and punch with the super sexy Idris Elba voice. It's just, oh my god, and it's like, mm. Like, yeah, that's, that's, sometimes that's all you need, and you can be happy, and it's okay. I was trying to be, um, I was self-aware to not be like the Red Letter Media, um, what, what they call their fake podcast? The, the n- trailer nerd nerds crew, or whatever the fuck? But it's like, yeah, see, see, that, that's, what, that's why like, I just kind of like feel like, like the, what, what, with the Red Letter Media thing, it kind of gets skewed by so many people as just the thing, like, just like, like it's the whole, it's the whole, like, uh, the, 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 that, that, like, the, the, like, either both the point, the point, the, both the I recognize that thing and the, uh, don't question anything, just consume stuff, because that, 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 that just kind of gets overblown by, like, people that by just cynical people that are just like oh using this as an excuse to hate something you don't like and then tell people mm. who like it that it's like it just it becomes over like it's overused to the point that it's just oh it's just people being assholes just for the sake of it and it's like sometimes that's, that's doing stuff that oh. makes people happy as simple as seeing something you recognize done in a cool way is okay right but well, because this is also yeah that's all a bigger conversation especially i was just going to say like especially after the first movie it was just nice to see some sonic stuff in a sonic movie trailer right yeah, for sure right because it's not like we've had a a a history of, of sonic films over you know 50 years where we've seen all this again and again and it's like oh remember the thing it's like yeah here's the tornado Wow, well, we you know you've seen it in games we saw it in the ova um and where else have we seen the tornado? You know, uh, I know Sonic X had the tornado too, but that doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, first time on a big oh, screen. Oh, yeah. Especially, especially because majority of the people going to see the movie aren't necessarily us, like the big Sonic fan. Like, yeah. they're probably <laughs> less, like, we are probably a 20% of the, the people that go to see the movie, and that's being generous. It's... The, it's yeah. it's kids it's the general public that are just like oh like it's it's a cute looking family movie and the fact that it's like it's now it's these people it's like yes the general public being introduced to these parts of sonic that like yeah like that in a lot of other versions are either rarely touched or not touched at all so it's like oh you get to see g- good versions of tails and knuckles get you get to see yeah tails flying the tornado get to oh. see the emerald whatever that emerald actually is and it's like yeah it's just it's just cool like they had to have them get them <coughs> down the sonic route rabbit hole for good or worse i'd say like even as a non-sonic fan like watching that trailer it'd be like whoa i recognize these characters but what is this crazy world no i'm interested it just seems Mm -hmm. yeah this trailer is just really good trailer (laughs) right because it is it it does seem like we'll we'll get a bit more of sonic's world yeah it's not all just earth and five minutes of green hell we're gonna uh that's what it looks mm-hmm. like, uh, considering where where we see Doctor uh, Jim Carrey in the trailer. <laughs> Doctor Carrey, Carrey, as he's That's known. That's right. <laughs> he's his name. Uh, oh man, it's exciting. Like, like, okay, okay. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of Sonic going on in this trailer, right? Okay. There's so oh, much. Oh man, right? Because we see Sonic. Uh, they there. There is a hint that there's human characters in this. Uh, we see Tom for a couple seconds. Um, we, we see Maddie and her weird sister. Yeah. C- cousin, whatever it was, that's weirdly aggressive. <laughs> they exist. Um, they don't have any lines in the trailer. Uh, presumably, There's they a bunch do of in the film. old men in a cabin on the oh, mountain. Right. That's right. Oh, oh man. Right. Does this movie needed the sequel to the bar scene from the first movie, oh, so that's God. probably what that's going to be. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> Right, but but it's That's just Sonic. I know you love that right. scene. But it's Sonic and Tails. There's no Tom in the bar. That means that Sonic, who's underage, is sneaking in Tails, who's even more underage, to go drinking. This, <laughs> this is uh, Sonic's brood. And they're, all, and, they're also, and they're also both all like covered up in secret also. That is true. Oh, I that think looks it, cool. 
I think There's I'll let this movie th- get Tails drunk on screen. If they're going that route, <laughs> we, we can let that happen. We can let it slide. He can have a taste. <laughs> Just a sip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm excited because because so we're gonna we're gonna see now now the trailer is done in a way where it's like oh it looks like Sonic and Tails are talking for the first time while Sonic's on the tornado. Presumably, that's not how it would work because that's a weird moment to say hello for the first time how does sonic end up on the tornado so it is yeah it right. is weird it, do we want to go so it's with probably one um, of those the plot synopsis that have been sprinkled around right because one of them does say tails is looking for sonic so maybe he builds the plane and looks around for him oh and man then the tornado thing happens and that may puts them both on the same path maybe maybe yeah yeah it, it, it feels very much like yeah because like the whatever this whatever the like the big action sequence that 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 where, where they they come to it's like yeah sonic and tails both end up like colliding at that point and then they end up just being like okay hey hey i i, I was looking for you it's like okay let, let's go let's go do this thing it's just sonic just jumps right into it and then they All go right. and uh fight because yeah because the, the the that giant the giant tornado it's the, the regular that, that that's that's probably how the tornado is going to get its name because they're facing against a literal tornado oh, oh the tornado uh, looks so good yeah. the red tornado uh it's got because it's even got <laughs> it's even got like the white little streak you know on the side that, that the tornado yeah. has and like like there's that detail and then and then there's the you know the, the star and the wings on the tail which is a nice and little it, and it doesn't say sonic it says 761 Right. Well, I'm hoping that at the by the end of the movie, mm. Sonic will be like, "Hey!" Like maybe he'll crudely draw his name on it, and Tails will roll his eyes, and then in movie three, you'll see that it's been stenciled on properly, and Sonic's like, "Hey, what was wrong with mine?" And Tails will be like, "You, you, you can't. You don't know. Your penmanship is terrible. I can't. I can't. I can't abide." You can't. <laughs> so, which is fine. That's what I'm. It, that that's my prediction. <laughs> my grandpa the tornado looks good yeah the chaos slash master slash movie emerald looks really oh, yeah. good it looks yeah. like a proper emerald and and it, it's so shiny it is and so 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 robotnik or eggman or whatever he's gonna call himself in this i guess both mr ah uh, oh he's he's he, the, hmm. uh, yeah there's a lot oh it's exciting okay okay <laughs> i'm getting a little riled up one thing i'm excited about <laughs> In Japan, the movie is, of course, called Sonic vs. Knuckles. Right. Sonic the movie, Sonic vs. Knuckles, or whatever. It's nice to see an actual threat to Sonic, the guy who just handled everything with no issue in the first movie, pretty much. Yes. I'm excited to see some actual conflict and threat to the guy who can do anything, basically. Yeah. <laughs> especially because uh, Knuck- Knuckles is supposed to be stronger than Sonic, so it's like to be all like, oh yeah, he, he also has like super electric powers of his own. It's like, yeah, good. Do that. But... Mm-hmm. Um, if Knuckles is stronger than Sonic, and earlier in the trailer we hear Tom say Sonic is too reckless, like a child, maybe Sonic's arc is that he has to start using his brain because his power isn't going to work this time. Ooh. Mm. Knuckles is the wall that Sonic's head can't be repeatedly bashed through, and he's got to be a little more cunning. Uh, yes. Yeah, I like uh, that. So, it's uh, nice to see Knuckles in a non jokey, uh, taken seriously kind yes, of role. Also. Finally. Like, it's just so nice to see that character. We, we got one line out of Knuckles. I just want to be clear. Maybe in the movie, he's just n- normal, recent Knuckles. But I'm holding on to this that, hope because, man, it's cool. That line, do I look like I need your power, is genuinely <laughs> goosebumps inducing. It's uh, just like, oh, man. And yeah, it, 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 it's cool. And it, it, Idris Elba's voice, yeah, just for that one line, his voice fits uh, very well. That, it, that, that sounds like a good version. Even though I expect them to say mate, I expected them to say mate at the end of that line. <laughs> it, it made me think of, uh, you know, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, beginning of Sonic 3, Knuckles just punches Super Sonic in the face, knocks out all those emeralds, and everyone goes, what? How could Knuckles do that? But. You know what? This version of Knuckles <laughs> can totally see him being able to do that. Just like, yeah, uh, which, which, which is neat. Like it, it establishes like Knuckles is a legitimate threat. I know in in later games Sega doesn't quite know what to do with them, but here in the movie it's like oh we're we're starting from the beginning. We're starting from scratch, and they can really explore like what what knuckles can be and what sort of a threat opposition to sonic he can be as well and and i'm i'm looking forward to that mm-hmm. conflict because you know presumably knuckles will not stay the villain through the whole thing because knuckles isn't a bad guy generally 
unless they get really dramatic yeah. and the and the movie ends with knuckles uh, being put in charge and robotnik is now his sidekick which would be funny <laughs> but i don't think this <laughs> I don't there's also Agent Stone just gets fired. <laughs> there is also those set photos of uh, plastic Sonic tails and knuckles together. So true. true. Oh yeah, right, right. Spoilers. Uh, yeah. So at some point they got to get through to Knuckles' head and be like, "Hey, the thing that always happens to you is happening for the first time right now." And he'll be like, "What the fuck?" Right. Although and that's the one f bomb they'll get. Although it also depends. <laughs> it also depends on like what like what is is Eggman quote unquote lying to him or is this a thing of like Knuckles actually has a reason to go after Sonic. Hmm. So it's like, oh, and then hmm. it's like, oh, maybe I don't actually have to. Like, it's, it's let's say he's tricking me, but rather than, a, oh, I don't need to actually go after you. Um, if you guys recall our conversation from February earlier this year. <laughs> Ooh. Um, Do you have a transcript? We, uh, uh, hang on. <laughs> uh, let's just play that video right here. <laughs> Cut to video. <laughs> um, we talked about... Uh, uh, Knuckles already doesn't like Sonic because... Uh, they were already after the owl, and the owl was trying to protect Sonic. Uh, sorry, the echidnas, I mean. Mm -hmm. um, so perhaps Knuckles is already angry at Sonic, and that's why he goes looking for Sonic to begin with, and he comes across a robot Robotnik who is also hating Sonic, and they can both be like, oh, we both hate Sonic, let's team up. Rawr. Right. Uh, mm. There is, to extrapolate from that, when we see the emerald in the trailer, there are like owl statues behind the emerald. The emerald. That's right. So maybe there's some weird echidna owl conflict, and Nickman is like exactly ah, a dynamic to capitalize on. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So like in this ver in this version of events, yeah, the owls are the guardians of the emeralds, and the echidnas are a tribe. Yeah, trying to uh, usurp them and like take it over, and then maybe maybe after Long Claw hmm. quote unquote die, if if she like actually is dead, it's like a thing of like oh like now hmm. all the owls are dead, so the echidnas can uh, like take charge again. Maybe. Uh -huh. But Comic Cock will get his due in the second Sonic movie. <laughs> what, however, you, however you say that guy's fucking name. Hamak. Hamak. Paka Hamak. Paka Hamak. Uh, it's a city. <laughs> Oh, right. An yeah, ancient right. city. I keep forgetting the Sonic Adventure echidnas were just cities. <laughs> That's right. If it's a city, uh, then the CH would be pronounced Cha. Pacha? Pacha, pacha comic. Maybe? Mm. Uh, Bo we, Bo I'll just both, uh, message Izuka for answers. Both uh, Sonic and Tails also got uh, slight changes. Like, like if you look, like, the, the, there, there's like the side by side of this Tails and the Tails that appeared at the end of. Uh, the post credit scene in the first movie, and it's like, oh, he's he's a lot more yellow in this version. He has a bit more cartoony eyes. And it's like, yeah, they, they, I, I kind of like that that color of the orange tails, but it's like, yeah, overall, this is like a much, obviously, a much better looking tails. And then Sonic also has like slight differences. It's like, yeah, like he, they, his eyes are like, look a bit more like cartoony. Uh, they kind of have like the, his like, the, the, the little, the, the fluff in between his two eyes is like less pronounced. Um, mm -hmm. does, so Robotnik, does he have a teleporter device? Because we see that thing in space, but it looks like a satellite, not a ship. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, it, what? There's a shot of him coming, like, suiting up in the thing as they show it coming down and he steps out. Yeah, he steps out of the how egg. he gets to that point. Yes, yeah. he does step out. Agent Stone is very excited, who, who he presumably is not an agent anymore. He seems to be the owner and operator of the I love it. <laughs> Mean Bean Coffee House. That's mean right. Mean Bean Coffee. Yes. Which is... Uh, it's, it's so stupid. <laughs> but I love it. I think it's great. He has, he has the Mean no, Brew. It's the, the good kind of stupid. <laughs> one of the specials is called the Mean Brew. The Mean... Right. <laughs> I, I wonder... I gotta, I gotta look closer. I gotta see if, if any of them are like... Is there a grounder drink? Is there a, a scratch drink? Um, I didn't notice can I get anything a pollo, right pollo now. Pollo cappuccino. Can I get out? I, I, did, oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't notice anything in the. Yeah, there's just there's like there's like a thing that says beans on deck. There's the mean house blend. Mm. How how much do you think this trailer was edited in sequence of the movie? Because we see the mm. tornado filled with electricity before we see. Robotnik step out of that egg thing. So I'm curious if they use mm -hmm. that to teleport back. I don't know. 
I feel like well, he probably finds the emerald before he comes back to Earth. To Earth. Well, but I don't know. Uh, I don't un- unless he like discovers it exists, goes back to Earth to like regroup and and gather the necessary go- resources to to mm. get to get it at that point. Uh, there is there is like a part to go because there, there there's like there's like one shot in the trailer where you see like him like in like going through uh, the temple and like nearly getting hit by the swinging uh, the swinging axe and then you also see later in the trailer Sonic well not actually at the same time Sonic is also going yeah. through the temple so it's like either they're doing it at the same time or it's this is Sonic going through the temple later mm-hmm. and then, well, and obviously well we, there's also the, that 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 big shot of Sonic looking at. The, the probably maybe floating island uh, Master Emerald Shrine, and you see the shrine, like, the, the, the giant light, so it's like, oh, did yeah, is it this is like a race to get to the Emerald, or... That's what yeah, I was just, thinking. Yeah, yeah it does it seem def- like it's a race. A race would be fitting. They look like they're both in that temple at the same time, uh, so it looks like they are racing to get something, but I feel like Robotnik has the Emerald, like, very close to the beginning of this movie. Ah, oh, unless there's more than one. Because we do see, um... Perhaps it's... We don't know when this would happen, but we do see a giant machine shoot missiles out with a green glowing uh, orifice thing. That's right. So at some point, presumably, he harnesses the emerald. Right. Yeah. Which makes sense. Maybe Which that's is around the time machine? that he meets Tails, too. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, and I, and I wonder if that giant like machine is that like does he make his like does he make his own version of the egg carrier and like that that that, that he powers and is that what's in the middle of the giant tornado? Right there. So I guess many there was, questions. Man, right? Because there's the sprinkles of, of Sonic Adventure esque things going on. Uh, I got very excited. Hell yeah, uh, there. I got excited <laughs> at the snowboarding. I know that's also oh, yeah, Sonic the ice Thrill, cap, but, yeah. yeah, there's there's some ice cap stuff going on in there. Uh, the temple stuff. Uh, Sonic, thinking that the, the water sh- shooting up at the start. Oh, oh, man. Sonic has a skateboard. A skateboard. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, in in the trailer when when Sonic is dressed up and I guess it looks like that white dress or whatever. He's jumping over the uh, the the, the glassware. Glass he's house. holding a skateboard, and it's the same skateboard from uh, the the like Sonic Adventure era art. The Sonic Adventure. Oh you shit. Know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cool. Here, I'm gonna. You can, you can have it show up in the video, uh, and I'll, I'll, <laughs> and I'll show it to everyone in this call right now. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Oh man, that is just that skateboard, it is just isn't that it? Ska- that, that's like a, it's just pulled right out. See, because there's more Sonic things God. in this movie. That's very exciting. That makes me so happy. Right. It's not just Sonic. It's even got the red it's wheels. Got Sonic and Tails and Knuckles and his skateboard. And the tornado, <laughs> and and buzz bombers. I mean, they look. Yeah, but yeah, we got buzz bombers. It's like yeah, like, it, 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 that that's that's like the cool thing. Like yeah, taking taking his like egg drones and being like, oh, how about how about we make something cool out of it? It's like you can still have like like the closest thing to like bad nicks, and it's like yeah, like that that that's great. Right. I mean, those buzz bombers. Uh, I mean, they kind of look like something that maybe could have come from forces or 06, You know, because they sort of that same like white chrome y look you know from the first movie but but it's like okay so if this is the evolution uh i mean maybe in movie i i I would be surprised if we get a metal sonic in this but you know maybe by movie three then we finally get like the the further evolution because we're also getting the eggmobile like that's in there uh uh it's it's on the Mm -hmm. poster uh and i think we see it for for a second in the trailer too yeah we see it yeah 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 which is oh man this is cool because it's like like that's his proper thing you know (laughs) you know in the first movie like he's in a thing it's like okay like i guess that kind of looks like the thing he's in in 06 it's whatever but this one is like no no that's just the eggmobile it's straight up look at him there's jim carrey and he's bald and he's got a crazy mustache and he's sitting in the eggmobile (laughs) and there's buzz bombers and he's going ho 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 and he tricked knuckles it's a sonic movie (laughs) Very exciting. He, 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 like he isn't. He isn't fat, but it's like, yeah, it's fine. He doesn't have to be fat. He, he's, he's, he's got the big red jacket. Yeah, he's he's got the demeanor right. down. He, he's in the egg. He's got all of his egg things. It's like, yeah, he he, he fits the egg man. All good. He's got he's got the yeah. egg stuff. Yeah. He's egg. He's egg man. He's Doctor Egg Man. Look at him. Ah. I, I like his jacket. It looks kind of cool, but also kind of dumb, <laughs> which I like. He he does a twirl. Oh. Uh, apparently, he's a little twirl. Right? He's come back to Agent Stone, <laughs> I guess, because they're secretly in love. Is that what's going on? 
Yeah, I'm okay with that. I, I, I love Agent Stone, but particularly uh, yeah. because of how enthusiastic his actor is. Right. Like just just because of how happy yes. like his actor is about everything. I'm like, you know what? That makes me like Agent Stone even more, right. and I'm glad that he's back. That yeah, that, that he is the scratching grounder, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, the orbiting cubot of this movie. Right. I, I, I but it, yeah. I think Robotnik likes Stone more than than Egg than Robotnik ever liked <laughs> Scratching Grounder. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. man, it's exciting. Uh huh. Do you think Agent Stone was like put into a witness protection program, and that's why he's like the own? And because he was a government agent, just because Robotnik went rogue and disappeared doesn't mean that Agent Stone also would have stayed. Like, they. Did I'm something. gonna double check. I'm gonna he... double check, but I know the novelization says what happened to him. Oh. Uh... Oh right. I was thinking he would just be like, "Oh, my life has no purpose now that Doctor Robotnik has been fired from the military." So I guess I'll quit. Right, well, I've always loved coffee. I he guess became he wasn't quite I said I was good at coffee, so that's what I'm he doing. He wasn't fired. He started a business. <laughs> he was <Yeah>. just... <laughs> he did... St- that's our Americans, God damn it! We're small business owners, and that's he all we got. He took out a small business loan. He's in... <laughs> like, is that coffee shop in Seattle or Green Hills? This is important. Because if it's in Seattle, how are you competing with Starbucks? What are you doing? If it's in Green it, Hills, it, I mean, it, that's Montana. It makes them with love, God damn it. <laughs> Oh, uh, it, 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 in in the book, uh, you yeah, know, Agent Stone is the uh, he's the one who goes and gives uh, he 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 goes and sees Tom and Maddie after <gasps> right. him, uh, yeah, and he, he gives him a government radio receiver instead of an Olive Garden card. Oh, <laughs> so Agent Stone was I wish okay. So that means the book might be then yeah. its own separate continuity from the actual film. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> yeah, yep, here we so. go. Alternate universe. Okay, let's figure out the movie Sonic timeline. Really okay, quick. I, I I thought <laughs> about this. Okay, so the Sonic movie timeline, right? Okay, oh, no. it starts. Okay, actually, no, 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 just just kidding. <laughs> Man, I wish it was Agent Stone giving them the Olive Garden gift card, though. That would have been funny. <laughs> it was just they could have gotten Grounder to do it because Grounder, the voice of Grounder, is in the first movie. He's one of the generals, but he's not the one yeah. who gives them the gift card, unfortunately. Uh, shame. It is a shame. I demand a recount. I I, 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 do, I do think I do think the guy truck. I think the government age I think the the official who gives them the gift card is because the, the, there's the shot when like all of, like the military and Tom and Maddie are looking at the tornado and I think that's the guy that's with them. Mm. Or it could be another another or it could be another old guy with white hair. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> There's, do you think I like the idea of keeping continuity with the old military man though? Uh, so I hope he that is the same guy. Right, so, <laughs> oh, oh man, it's it's so Sonicy. <laughs> do you think that um, Tom and Maddie have been essentially removed from the film? Uh, like they still exist, hmm. like but they are off doing something else. Because I'm pretty sure I saw like an image of a wedding. So maybe Tom and Maddie are busy with a wedding. Right, was Sonic and friends go do something else. Was someone in a wedding? Was the well, sister yeah. in a? Yeah, we was a sister. Yeah, because I because yeah, like the, the the like the plot synopsis has been going around is that Tom and Maddie are going on a like a vacation, which I assume is to the sister's wedding, and it's mm-hmm. like oh Sonic has to stay behind. And it's like I think it's like Tom's the whole thing is like oh Sonic don't be reckless, you gotta stay behind. And then as yeah. you see at the, at the end of the trailer, Knuckles and Sonic are fighting at Tom and Maddie's house. So maybe it's yeah it's, it's Eggman and Knuckles go to like. Uh, antagonize Sonic, and that leads Sonic to go out, and then he finds Tails, and then they go on their, like, adventure for, like, most of the movie, and then Tom and Maddie show up at the very end to be like, what's going on? Right, it, it, they, it mm-hmm. seems like they definitely are being put on the back burner, which, I, I mean... If Eggman... That's fine. If Eggman's smart, he's probably actually hunting down Tom and Maddie, because he would know them as the last point of contact with Sonic. It, that's true. After right. the last movie. So, do you- so maybe... Sonic goes to like check on them or save them, and then Knuckles is like, "Hello, I exist." Right. So, do you think <laughs> that Sonic fights Knuckles before or after he meets Tails for the first time? I think he fights him before That's they meet him, especially because again, like really? where the trailer, where the, where the trailer looks like, yeah, where it, it looks like Knuckles ambushing Sonic at Tom and Maddie's place. So it feels like it's yeah, Knuckles mm. beats the shit out of Sonic. They, they leave him behind because they don't he, maybe he doesn't have what they're looking for and then Sonic's trying to figure mm. out and then he runs into Tails and then they go on their quest to mm. find that emerald thing or whatever they're looking for maybe I think I agree but I do hope we get a cool scene where Knuckles is fighting off Sonic and Tails like no matter what they just can't get through that guy 
I think that'd be cool to see. Yeah, right. like, well, like, cause, <clears throat> yeah, because there is like another thing. Yeah, during the ice caps, like the right before the ice cap scene, it looks like a thing where like Sonic is like fight. Sonic and Tails are like confronted by Eggman, so it's like maybe Knuckles is also there, mm. and you get like a big action sequence with all of them, followed by the the, the skateboarding scene. Oh man, the skateboarding, uh, snowboarding. Right, right. Okay, okay. Because 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 like <laughs> yeah, if, if Sonic and Knuckles fight first, and like Knuckles defeat Sonic and Sonic's just left there you know maybe left for dead because if if Eggman Robotnik is just like oh I don't need Sonic anymore like it's this emerald that is really like the thing that that's going to to fix all my woes um yeah like he, <laughs> yeah. he's like oh you know Sonic you're not an issue we defeated you you're done oh Knuckles just spits on him and walks away uh, yeah right I guess uh <laughs> the the snowboard kind of looks like uh, like like the remains of one of one of the one of Eggman's robots, maybe. Oh yeah, it does. It, does, mm. it kind of has that that, that chrome yeah. uh, look to it. But uh, oh right, okay. Makes sense. So if Sonic has electric powers and Knuckles has electric powers, why do you think they both have electric powers? Is this rhetorical? Chaos energy. I feel like maybe. you have an answer for us. Right, right. <laughs> Oh, right. Well, I think it's both rhetorical and I think I, I I listened to an interview with the writer. Um, what, what's his name? <laughs> Who's the guy who wrote this movie? Pat, Pat Casey? Casey. Yes, there was a there was an interview. Uh, he did it on a podcast called The Green Hill Zone. And somebody asks him in that podcast if sonic's electric powers are connected to the chaos emeralds and he is like oh it kind of dances around it but then is like well yeah maybe yeah like that's it and if that's the case then sonic and if if knuckles is around like if if he's in any capacity the guardian of any emeralds that might be why like just being like the exposure being around it long enough grants grants those powers so then if, if knuckles has it and eggman has tricked knuckles like he can steal as many sp- uh, sp- needle spines from knuckles as he wants to power his robots or he's just going after the source which is the emerald like if that if that's really the thing if i'm remembering what i heard right uh it's been a little while hmm. since i listened to that maybe if somebody else listens maybe to it review uh you can tell me if i <laughs> misremembered <laughs> That at least sounds plausible. Ooh. This tornado spinning around does have a lot of electricity coursing through it, too. Yeah. Mm. Don't know if that's related or just there to look cool, but it sure is a thing. I, I, I just like the idea of just, yeah, when, when, when Saw it, like, he's, 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 it's basically just him going, like, slight Super Saiyan when he's just like, okay, and then the electrics, the, like, is, he just starts, like, spreading out all electricity. It's just like, it, it, it's, it's just an, it's a simple, easy thing, but it always just looks so cool to me, just whenever characters just have like no matter if it's like quote unquote can like because like there's a lot of times where like characters will have like when they're going super powerful and like electric sparks will come off them but it's like it's not actually happening in the universe just a cool effect but it's like i just think it's so cool All right, unless it's just a lot of static electricity is what's happening i'm curious if this tornado is like the primary um thing to stop so to speak like if that's an eggman thing or if that's a chaos emerald not supposed to be in this world kind of thing or what's up with that because if Eggman's plan in this movie is just I want to spin a tornado through the Pacific Northwest that's an interesting angle <laughs> it, it would seem a little odd wouldn't it like what what we is only your see goal the, yeah we only see the tornado once like so I don't think it's going to be like an integral thing I think it's just like <sighs> an action it's a big there's set one piece. where it's near a city it'll be a big set and piece. then there's one where they're flying toward it like it's the effects of something else happening I think that's what the tornado was mm. representing or do, 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 Curious do you think Sonic will will try to run around it in the opposite direction? Like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he saw it in the Flash comic, and now he gets to finally right. do it. He's like, why isn't it working? <laughs> I don't get it. It's like Sonic, that comic was written in Let 1960. Let me go back and read that comic to make sure I did it. Okay, I did it. Sonic, <laughs> that comic was written in 1967. I don't... No. Like, no, no, no. It's, it's very accurate. <laughs> I checked it. Yeah, so I you guys. Checked. Do you guys think we're going back to Sonic's world or to a different world or something? Because we have this ziggurat, and we also it, it looks a lot like uh, Mystic Ruins, and it's like that. That's a great question. That can't exist on Earth. 
I mean, ziggurats exist on Earth, but that one... I've never seen like that someone one. Would have no someone would have noticed it, right? At some point. Unless they're pulling from Unleashed, and that's actually a Gaia temple. Oh. But, but I don't think that's the case. <laughs> like, if that was on Earth, so um, surely someone would have noticed it and, like, gone inside. And... Well, maybe everyone yeah. who goes inside I, gets I like... cut by a thing, and, and they die. <laughs> Especially because I think it'd be so weird <laughs> to just be like, oh, now there's suddenly, like, ancient mystical things on Earth when it's, like, established that, oh, you can travel to different dimension. Like, it's, like, interdimensional yeah, travel exactly. yeah. established. And, like, yeah. Eggman has to, he has to come back from the mushroom planet, so he's he's going to be able to uh, uh, travel through dimensions somehow. So right. it's, like, yeah, like, at that point, yeah, just have, so, Tails is traveling through a, a dimension, so it's, like, yeah, just right. have them travel mm. through uh, other zones. Presumably, Tails will have a number of rings on his person. It would be, uh, it would be very unwise if he just jumped through and went. I have no <laughs> way home if I'm wrong. Uh. <laughs> Man, maybe one of the things is that, like, you know, you have to say where you want to go, right? So they want to get the Knuckles' home for the mm -hmm. Emerald, but he won't say the name, so they gotta like beat it out of him or something. I don't know. Do, do they say? At some point, we have to wind up on maybe Angel Island for that place, though, because I presume, like Seth said, that's got to be what that is. So right, I am yeah. excited. Like, if if because there's there's the assumption, oh, mushrooms, Mushroom Hill, like that's where Knuckles is from. But it could just be mm. that, that could just be a mushroom place, and then we'll actually we'll see proper Angel Island. Like I, that's what I hope the the mm -hmm. the the temple is at C especially because it looks like it's it's sort of floating already like in because the water's pouring down it's rot like ooh like but well, that's fancy it's very fancy and i want like it feels it feels mm -hmm. sonic -y. i'm excited i'm excited about this movie this movie with sonic <laughs> <Right>? remember <laughs> like, when the, the first trailer for the first movie came out and everyone was like this is a bad idea like like this this is the first trailer i'm not i'm not saying it oh but wouldn't it be funny if the second trailer to this movie they switched the model back to the original design <laughs> <laughs> There's a there's got to be some joke in this movie. Um, was it you guys I was talking about it with? There's someone who was like, "There's gonna be like bootleg Sonic merchandise yes. in the movie universe." Yeah, now that he's like known, and he'll pick it up and it'll look like the old design. He'll be like, "This looks nothing like me." Yeah, well, no, we I talked. Remember, I remember we, we talked, talked about, about that, that yeah. February this year. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, did you? Yeah, and we I, also brought. I don't up... think I was in that discussion. Oh, yeah, that's right. You weren't. That's right. You weren't uh, in that one. Yeah. We all, we. <laughs> We we guessed that the the meme that they bring up this time is Uganda Knuckles, but no, I I don't I don't think that oh, that, that isn't going to happen because it's like yeah, that, I don't that, think that so is, either. That that is one racist and two years and years <laughs> old, so it's exactly like everybody uh. involved, everybody smart involved is going to be like no, right? Yeah. Like yeah yeah, the, <laughs> the, 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 the meme that they're going to do is yeah have like like Chris said is yeah going to be just a, a a quick joke. At old at old movie Sonic because like in the last oh, movie because yeah. because yeah, uh, in the last movie they had a Sonic reference so it's like yeah the next step is, mm. is well, by this movie Sonic by this point Sonic's gonna be somewhat known on Earth and they're gonna be like here's some merchandise of that weird thing that right. lives here well yeah. you see because par part of the the Sonic movie timeline see in between movies one and two. There is, mm. there is supposed to... There's a Sonic the Hedgehog CD the movie. Right. right? Well, there, there's a couple. So <laughs> so there's there is a, a there's supposed to be an IDW miniseries that comes yes, out, which right. is presumably oh, right. between one and two. Um, yes, no, it's good. Because well, it, it's called the official movie prequel. Right. But also, oh. if Sonic is slowly being known, uh, that means that the creation of the Sonic movie Discord server is also part of the Sonic movie timeline. So that No <laughs> The server is created in universe between one and two, right? Because the youths of the world are super into Sonic and they create a, a Discord server and they all join. And Sonic also joins, but in an ironic twist of fate, he gets banned five minutes after joining. But yeah, I think that's part of it. That's part of the timeline. That was a, a joke I made just now <laughs> so if somebody wants to laugh at home do it <laughs> oh I, I, I meant to go ha ha there you go <laughs> oh 
They're not all <laughs> winners. Some, some, but, something yeah. weird about the comic. So, like the comic, it's it, it stated it stated that the yeah, it's, it's supposed to be a four issue miniseries, and the the graphic novel is set to come out in April of 2022. But so far, none of the issues have been solicited, and yeah, that comes out like the those issues get solicited three months in advance. So I don't know what's happening there. I don't know if, if this was something that they they solicited, but then nothing. Yeah, because all we know is that we, we know Gail Gelligan's writing it, but we know nothing about who's drawing it. So I wonder if this was a thing that was going to happen, and now they've pushed to the side and being like, actually, no, we're not doing that anymore. I mean, there's still time for them to come out. So may, but it's like again, I feel I feel mm -hmm. like it, it's like we we we, we would have known about this by now. So I'm like, I'm when, wondering when were they supposed to be, be published? Uh, well, the, the the trade that's that cover that supposedly has all four issues mm -hmm. right now has an April 2022 release date, and issues of like they come out like they get announced three months in advance. So like we know like the March issues, and there's still no uh, prequel uh, issues solicited yet. So I'm like, are they gonna end up just doing it like the first issue? Like it's just gonna be pushbacks. Like the first issue comes out in April, and then it's just gonna be like April, May, June, July. Like I, f I feel like if that if it's gonna happen, it's gonna be like that, or it could possibly be uh, postponed. Um, I know they they are they are releasing a new trade of like oh it's like it's the best of Sonic and Tails like in response to the movie that has like mm. four issues uh, featuring Sonic and Tails from the regular IDW series so they are releasing something to kind of like release in conjunction with the movie. Uh, I just it, now have no idea. That's the one that has the uh, Evan Stanley cover of them in the theater seats. Yes, right? that's the right. That's the one. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's it, a good is, one. is it possible they could release some weekly? instead of monthly it is possible but i would be surprised if they did like because just because they, they haven't really done that so i'm like yeah so like the, it, 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 there, there's still some time to be like oh it could be possible at the, but at this point it's like just kind of weird of like oh like is this still happening or not it's still like up in the air right. they, they released the first four issues of idw sonic weekly so th there is precedent yeah mm -hmm. i don't know I, I would like to think it's still coming out it, it would be a shame if it was canceled uh, i i mean it it, it could just uh, yeah. who knows but like that that's part of it and then we'll have to see if those comics work with the movies or if they work better with the novelizations this is important <laughs> <laughs> or if they'll recreate a new third branch right. to the movie oh right universe. because okay this is as jeff Keeley once said the sonic cinematic universe that's right the sonic cinematic universe <laughs> look earlier i got completely thrown off uh, I found I saw a tweet a few days ago about about a Sonic continuity that I had no idea existed. Apparently, in oh, Germany, no. there were a series of three audio dramas that were released starring Sonic the Hedgehog in the early '90s. These tapes are like they're on YouTube. They're all in German. They have original characters. It is not part of any other continuity, and it completely threw me off because mm. I didn't know it existed until a few days ago. Like, that's a Sonic thing. That's a full Sonic universe. Like, what? How did I... That David didn't that know I about. didn't know about. And it's in... <laughs> Hand in your Sonic retro <laughs> badge, sir. But, but... Hand over it's, the keys. It's part, of, it's part of the pantheon <laughs> of Sonic. So, I know about it now. Uh, it's still... I can't... I just... I try to listen to it, but it's in German, and I don't know German. But, uh... You know, uh, that, that that's getting off topic. Yes, the, the Sonic Cinematic Universe. Now, do you think that that Jeff Knightley, or whatever his name is, um, a man who is afraid Keely. of being on stage, clearly. He just likes to stand <laughs> behind everyone. <laughs> we should probably explain. At the Game Awards, David finally pointed out something and we never realized for people who watch. But there's the Game Awards, there's all the crowd, there's the stage. Jeff is always behind all the people on camera <laughs> doing everything. And it's like, what are those people doing? Why isn't he just on the stage? Yeah. No one knows. Oh, I don't know. Sorry. Yes. It's a derail, but it's a very good yeah, question. Yeah, so while, so while he's he's hiding, um, like, like okay, so d d does, now, is that just him, you know, being fancy with words? Because, like, oh, there's the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and there's the, the DC whatever universe you want to call it. Like, is it just fancy, or do you think that paramount is thinking about you know turning the sonic films like into an extended franchise like with spin-offs or th there was that one rumor mm -hmm. of a tv show which probably is false but like most yeah likely. just yeah. i guess because of the log logistics of actually doing a, a cg live action 
show. Think I mean, about but, what does Paramount have that's successful besides SpongeBob and possibly this? Uh, pretty much right now, it's 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 pretty much for it's it's uh, uh, a silent a silent uh, uh, a quiet place. And Transformers, oh, right. Quiet yeah. Place, and Transformers are pretty much their big like things keeping them afloat because like they have stuff like they have like Sheesh. Star, they have Star Trek which does good on like TV, but it's been doing like weird and film like that's why they've been like struggling how to get films back for that. They've had a bunch of bomb mm-hmm. like most of their animated movies have been doing pretty badly uh, mm. lately. They they had TMNT, which TM, that, that was another case of the first TMNT did super well despite being pretty controversial. But then the second movie came out and the second movie was like, oh, we're, we're, it's now focused more on the turtles. The human characters are to the side. We have much more fan service and bringing back all these like characters. There's like, we're making it much more of a TMNT movie. And then the movie ended up not doing so well and wasn't as oh, no. and was still just and was still just kind of received very like mixed like nobody ever not everybody was like oh my god this is amazing they're just like and eh, that was fine so then TMNT got kind of oh, pushed no. aside TMNT is coming back like mm-hmm. they're still doing that again but it's like yeah that, that doesn't that, make that me feel movie. good for this movie well okay because <laughs> now how were the reviews for the first or uh, you know for the first uh, TMNT the uh, CG. Well, the, it, it, it was a weird thing because the yeah the, fir, the the reviews for the first TMNT were pretty bad. Like, right. but that movie, but that movie still did successful. And then well, they made the second one, yeah. and then it was like a thing where it's like, yeah, I get maybe maybe it had to do with just like because the movie was just okay, like it wasn't like great, it was just okay, and it came out at a pretty bloated time, like a pretty bloated summer. So it was like, and it was pretty expensive, so it's like the budget didn't reach mm. as much as it did. So it was like, eh, it wasn't like as like a success. So like it was it wasn't definitely a thing of like oh this was a good movie that failed. It was like a an okay movie that failed. So it's like if if if, mm-hmm. if Sonic, I think if this movie does get like good, especially now, it's like if, with how much more like right lately, like just looking at this one trailer, the pot like the immediate positive response is much better than the the immediate positive response from t- for that TMNT movie. So I'm like I, th- I th- I'm I'm safe in saying I think That's Sonic good. Two is gonna do much better than like I. I mean, I, I we don't know exact. I mean, like, I don't know how much more better it's gonna do than the first movie because again, like, the first movie came out like a month before uh, the pandemic happened, but it still did like pretty well mm-hmm. despite that. And then this movie, it's like it's coming out like like we we don't know how well how much like theaters will be affected. Uh, like it's like if everything will still be fine, if everything's still gonna be better, if things are gonna get worse. But it's like I think it's gonna do. Yeah. It's gonna do at least the exact same as the first movie, if not better. Like I don't think it's gonna do worse. I think Paramount's looking at this as a bi-yearly movie franchise until they can't get away with it anymore. Personally, oh. <laughs> I think you would maybe brace yourself for quite a few more of these if they have their way oh. for sure. Oh, maybe if they're making and, money, then yeah. Or right. and maybe yeah. maybe doing something on Paramount Plus because they got that. Like they 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 will obviously want some stuff for Paramount Plus. Maybe if they can figure out something mm-hmm. Sonic to do. I mean, it would have to be something related to the Sonic movie, and I don't know if they would be able to do a full, like, series, like, a, a full series, like, with, like, that, this, like, right. with this version of Sonic, especially because, like, yeah, we got, like, Sonic Prime coming out, so it's like, I was Sega probably wouldn't want to be like, oh, no, we don't want competing uh, Sonic series. They did it once so. before, they can do it yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> Did they, it's though? a whole new decade for That's Sonic. Right. I'm, embra- possible. I'm, I'm embracing an, uh, the world of two TV shows at once. That's what I want. What were the two Sonic shows that were at once? AOSTH and Sad AM. But those were both by Deke, right? Yeah, but they were both on at the same time. Deke. They're both different shows. They're different, but they were also produced by the same company. So I, that, that's why I don't think that counts. Uh, but I yeah. mean, it was... Uh, yeah, but, but at the same time, you... You do have like so Paramount's making movies, and and Netflix is, is getting a show. There's still the sense of competing versions of Sonic if you really want to get funny about it. But at least movie, <laughs> yeah, funny movie about and it. show, yeah. movie and show are different than say two shows. I want two shows. I don't, don't want to. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, I don't want to get into the. Yeah, like, yeah like, a third movie is like that is I think safe unless two somehow bombs completely, which huh. I doubt. Three is pretty safe. Whether there's mm-hmm. more movies after that, that I have no idea. I don't know if they'd be like, yeah, we do third, we have a trilogy, maybe later we'll do more movies, or if they're going to be, okay, now a fourth one. We'll get and a fifth one, yeah, just keep doing movies until they, mm-hmm. until they we'll can't get, anymore. 
We'll get one through three mm-hmm. in theaters, and then everything after that is direct to DVD type stuff. Pa- Paramount Plus, yeah, maybe Paramount, Paramount Plus, Paramount we'll Plus get Sonic movies, 3 yeah, and Knuckles. exactly. <laughs> yeah, I could, I, I could see that. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I don't, know. I, I want, I want, oh, right, like I said before, I want the third movie. So the third movie, San Francisco drowns. That's what I want, and then because perfect chaos, not just because I don't want chaos there. I just want to see the fucking burn. Yeah, three, three. I'm expecting it to be so, chaos, and then either Metal Sonic or Shadow. There's going to be an evil Sonic, and they're either going to have Metal Sonic, or it's going to be the government or Eggman or whoever wait. creates a clone of of Sonic, and it becomes Shadow. It's going to be one of those two and chaos. Mm. So that, that 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 is my uh, prediction. Do you do you think something we haven't mentioned? Tyson Hess is officially um, in charge of designing the Sonic characters in the Sonic movies. Uh, a movie Sonic Tyson Hess Metal Sonic would be pretty cool, I think. Ooh, uh, right. I could see that look being true to the games, but having like the hyper cool CG detail. Like, remember that one Metal Sonic render slash art thing where his engine is like meticulously kind of detailed? Shit like that. That's what I want. I thought, I, after the that. first oh. after the first movie came out, like there's somebody made like a fan art of like what would this Eggman's Metal Sonic look like, like in, in that like that, that chrome mm. style, and it actually looked really cool. I'm like, yeah, I think it would be like the, like the immediate thoughts after the first movie would be like, oh, he uses the quill of Sonic and puts it in Metal Sonic to make his own Sonic. It'd be like that was like that was like the first like initial thoughts. It'd be like, oh yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, like I like maybe it could be like the third movie is like a hedgehog like a hedgehog war where it's like you have Sonic, Eggman creates Metal sonic the government creates shadow amy shows up and you just have a full hedgehogs all fighting each other oh <laughs> man a, funny right i really want to see sonic like and amy suddenly just amy. fight each other <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i like the suddenly amy aspect suddenly. of that quite a bit <laughs> yeah, well you, you know if, if, if amy's in this amy's gonna be like just a more like she's, she she would be become like a more just kind of general love interest for sonic all right, so would Amy, man, like, like, like maybe because you have Sonic and Shadow and, and Metal, and they're all facing each other, and then Amy just like jumps in the middle and says, like, no, we don't have to fight, like we can all just be friends, and then and then they all say, yeah, I guess so, and the movie ends. Metal so Sonic that, says, "Give me the bird." Give me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, 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 man! Like this is this is. Oh, yes, this movie's exciting. I'm excited. I mean. <laughs> Right. So if they make if they if they if they make a trilogy and it's super cool, I guess they can make a four, five, and six. That's yeah, they can still make them cool. Why not? Look, like it could be, but Do it could be like you know how the Fast and Furious franchise, like they 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 started with the spinoffs because we got Hobbs <laughs> and Shaw, and there's like supposedly they they were gonna make like a, the the all female uh, Fast and Furious. Like they could they could expand that. So there, there could be like here's the Sonic movie, but then maybe. Make a uh, Chaotix movie. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, like th- there could be a Chaotix film. Uh, there could be a spinoff that's just it- it's called Oops All Hedgehogs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do we think um, if we presume that the movies keep mm-hmm. going, do we get Gerald Robotnik carry and eventually have? A lizard shoving a space station up its ass. Do we do we get that on the big screen? I don't think we'll get the arc or the bio lizard. <laughs> it feels too out there, doesn't I, it? It's I too th- out there for this. I feel like a death egg yeah. is a possibility. A death egg sounds uh, more out oh, there right. than the arc, though. Well, back in February, we said that the death egg is too cinematically uh, uh, similar to the Death Star, and that it probably won't happen. Right. Yeah. Mm. But then, but then, of course, then they can make the joke of, "Hey, isn't this just the Death Star?" <laughs> oh, oh, but then they would they have to pay Fox a lot to... or Disney a lot of money. Yeah, I feel like uh, George Lucas did... would get very. Upset. He already, yeah, well, he already, he already did a Star Wars ref. Yeah, like Chris said. Yeah, the Long Claws, Ben Kenobi, George Lucas can fuck off. He ain't got shit to do with this anymore. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah, yeah but what's you, it you, cost you, to you, say you, Ben Kenobi <laughs> versus the visuals of a Death Star? You know. Well, I guess maybe that's why Archie always drew it shaped like an egg. They were worried about the the copyright. Although the Death Egg is spherical, it always bothered me when in Archie. But it's <laughs> I, I remember something Sphere. like like uh in, 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 like in, in, in Futurama had like a thing where they had like a bunch of Death Stars and they called them Death Stars and they looked like Death Stars, but nothing apparently happened with there. So it's like oh, it, it's 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 parody. Huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll, I guess 
the old Futurama was also on Fox and 20th Century Fox distributed Star. I mean, oh, yeah, maybe, that is true. Yeah, uh, you know, mm. you can fudge it. Look, I just want I just want Jim Carrey Eggman to say the words "death egg" with a straight death face. Egg, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or may or, or Man, there's a question yeah. if these movies go on forever though. Jim Carrey is kind of getting up there, you know. Huh? Sagent Stone take over. Oh, maybe uh, we we meet Robotnik Junior. You know, played by the no. same guy, uh, <laughs> the, the same kid who who did Ace Ventura three. You, know, no. Ace Ventura. you say that, okay? You say that, Chris. Okay. But what else is Jim doing these days? Is it he just do, this? Um, I, I mean, I, I mean more that he might get too old to uh, keep doing these for a long time. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Well, if I think he's fifties, very... sixties right, right now, let's, but let's I don't know how age. long he's going to want to commit to well, this. Well, we, we should look up his age. Uh, and we'll at, figure at, out. The, at the very least, we know like you know, that he, he he's super enthused. Like both in the first movie and this movie, he's been super enthusiastic. Like this this isn't like a paycheck thing for him. He's like happy to do it. He's like he's glad that he's able to do like these like yeah. wacky like uh, his like kind of like doing doing mm. his tone of like his classic era like now, especially because like late like he he went on kind of like a hiatus for a while and then came back and did a bunch of like draw. Uh, drama series so it's like yeah this sonic was his mm-hmm. first big return to like comedy right and uh, does like it he'll, he'll be 60 in mid-january right okay so oh, so damn he's, so he's 59 when filming um so let's say he's younger than i thought he can he'll probably oh, yeah he's like trying to no worries about you could at least squeeze five. another 10 years out of him yeah. oh yeah you could you could get yeah. like five more of these um <laughs> which which would be seven seven sonic films one for each chaos emerald right so I think it works perfectly. Yeah. Um, we haven't mentioned it, I guess, in this video because it broke it earlier this week, mm-hmm. but Game Tales, very good. Very happy about Colleen. Yeah. If anyone in oh, the yeah. comments was like, why haven't they talked about the video game Tales being in a movie? And now we're in, we got That's you. right. We got yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I feel like game, like that Colleen was probably recorded as a temp. Like they intended to cast somebody bigger, like a bigger name later on, but then they're like, eh, we, they, they, "We don't have enough time. Screw it. It's fine. Keep her." Oh, uh, I would. Mm-hmm. I could have done it. I would have done it. <laughs> oh, guys, it's me. So, so after the movie comes out on Blu-ray, we have to do a full redub where you're you all all of Tales of lines are replaced <laughs> with you. <laughs> the worker cut. Oh man, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait for that copyright claim no, on that. <laughs> Footage. Oh man, it's real cool. I like Ben Schwartz's Sonic. I like Jim Carrey's Eggman. Mm-hmm. Idris Elba or Idris Elba's Knuckles seems cool, and I already like Tails' Tails voice. Mm-hmm. So I'm very happy with all that shit. Right? Did you guys like the Buzz Bombers? Do you think we'll get a Meta Bug or anything? I'm thinking not. I'm thinking meta- it's just gonna we're just gonna get a Buzz <laughs> Bomber or two. Um, I, there, I there, mean, there, I, there, hmm. there is the Iron Ball in the temple. Like the the the, 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 the the big spiky ball, like the spiky ball that you see in like Marble Zone and stuff like that. Like that 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 that, that was in the temple that Sonic ran through. Oh yeah. Oh. All right. So maybe a motor bug isn't too out of the question. That would I, be funny if, if he if if Eggman creates like a mo, but it's like super slow. And he's like, why did I make this? And he's like, yeah. Who would ever bother with this thing? And just fucking knocks it over, and kicks it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I, w- I want to see some motorbikes. Okay. I want to see, I want to see splats. Let's let's just throw splats oh. in there. Okay, splats. splats. Deep cut. Yeah, I I um uh, there should be some orbinots. I want those. Because mm. that's a flying thing. He's already got those drones. Just have some <laughs> that, that have more tiny drones circling around it. Oh yeah, I'd be okay with yeah. that. More the merrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I, I don't know. I, I mean, we might see more. Uh, we There's don't no know Sonic yet. Sonic music in the trailer. They're oh, nice. Mm-hmm. There, 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 there kind of is like the music in the background is like kind of like a big like epic or uh, orchestral version of what seems like Emerald Hill. I didn't hear it. Oh, it's definitely Emerald Hill. It is like from at least a minute forty on. Mm-hmm. It's. It's slower and more grandiose, so it's a bit harder to place at first, but you get the bump, 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 a little bit. I'm going to have to listen back to it. Yeah. All right, I'm into it. I, I hope that there's more Sonic music. That That's the one thing that really bothered yes. me about the first one. We only got 
that uh, you know the that cover of Green Hill Zone at the very end, and it's like, oh, and, and not even and, made for the movie. Right. It was just already existed. Right, and and the hyper potion <laughs> song, which is also just already there that they threw in. Like yeah. I want. I forgot that was there. Yeah. I put the movie on yesterday just to watch it, and was like, oh man, I forgot. Hyper potions was in the Sonic right. movie. So I, I want to. I want there to be more. I want it to be woven in to the orchestral i guess that was something that uh junkie xl wanted to do before but the money like they weren't willing to to pay to license the songs so perhaps you know mm. because it's a sequel the first one was successful they may have maybe a bit more in the budget perhaps and, and nakamura seems into it so hopefully yeah he likes money yeah so i'm hoping that <laughs> they've they've actually licensed a few songs to to sneak in there um uh because because that music deserves to be like the 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 bombastic orchestral movie score that you know envisioned in the mind uh, of nakamura as he was sitting there strumming his bass like oh i'm, I'm writing movie music <laughs> for this game like now it should be movie music that's what it is sonic is cinematic and here we go yeah <laughs> i want it uh. give it to me Send me uh, an early copy of the movie. Send me an MP3. Yeah, send- <laughs> Dear Junkie XL, how are you? I am fine. Please send me an MP3 of your songs for the Sonic movie. Thank you. P.S. I have attached a five dollars. <laughs> right. P.S. Please give me the s- script to the film as well. Mm, not sure. You, mm. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe reaching a little too much there. Oh. My friend. Okay, I, I will. I will settle um, with the MP3 in a password protected RAR file. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Um, do we have more to say about the Sonic movie oh. trailer? There's a f- few things. Ooh, we see him. Yeah, see him snowboarding at one point. But uh, the next time we see him in snow is uh, in the human world. So I'm assuming that that does not happen in Sonic's world. Just mm. a little. Yeah. Well, mm. the, 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 there's the shot. Uh, yeah, because there, there's a shot of them in the cat. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, 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 yeah, they're all, the all dressed up. Yeah, they're all bundled. Then there's the one of like where where, where uh, Sonic throws the the missile back at Eggman, and they look like they're in like an icicle uh, cave. And then there's yeah, there's the shot of of him uh, snowboarding down. So it feels like all three of those uh, scenes take place in the human world. Yeah. Uh, a missile hits Sonic, doesn't kill him. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he probably had a few rings on him. It was fine. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the water shooting out of the sewers was a nice Easter egg. This is it just makes it really feel yes. like a Sonic Adventure movie, which Ooh. is pretty cool. Hey, Chris, how does this? This kind of feels like a Sonic Adventure movie, fit, like light version. How does that make you feel? Very, very happy. <laughs> Even if it's just confined to Sonic on the city skyline at night and that's like where the adventure stuff mostly ends that's fine with me it looks cool i'll take it i'm fucking starving i'm happy with well, it I, I mean, if that's all the adventure stuff i get for a while i'm okay well, i mean the, the whole, to- the, the whole tor- i do hope the next movie it'll... i mean the whole tornado sequence looks like it could be kind of like sky chase right i guess i guess it is like a bit more dynamic sky chase like the adventure sky chase as opposed to sonic 2 sky chase which is just yeah, no, I'm, I'm talking chill. about adventures. I'm thinking adventures. Right. Oh, but, but yeah, yeah. Sonic stood in front of the moon. That was neat. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, um, I've had the trailer looping while wa- we've been talking, and every time that happens, I just think of Shadow's intro. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where he's silhouetted against the moon and cocks the gun. <laughs> are, are you saying that Sonic should have a gun in this movie? Is that what? I'm not saying he shouldn't have a gun. There's a lot of dangerous situations he's getting into. And he is in America. He's got to protect himself, you know? <laughs> Clearly, it's true. He's in <laughs> Seattle. He, he, I guess he's he's stopping a bank robbery. I guess is that what's happening there? What is he doing? That's a superhero-y thing to I, do. I, yeah, I think. I guess. I think that's what he's doing. He's like, oh, I saw this in a comic once. This would help someone. <laughs> it is interesting that he's just like, I'm gonna run around and fight crime and help people. Like, yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing that's after Tom the cop leaves, and he's like, "Man, I'm bored. I'm just gonna go do shit." Uh, unless know. it's the opening, and the Tom's like, "Hey, don't don't go to Seattle by yourself. Mm. I need to come so I can stand and 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 not help." <laughs> Be like, "Oh yeah, I'm the cop. Let me handle it, but bub, buddy." 
Oh, bro. Oh man, do do you think that Crazy Carl will return with a shaved face, like he's reformed? <laughs> He'll be normal, Carl. He's not Crazy Carl. <laughs> He'll be a scholar. Right. Oh man, yeah. who? Uh, yeah. Who else was you, there in in the first you, movie? Oh. Go, oh. go on. I'm go sorry. ahead, David. You no, first. I was just thinking like you don't remember his police. Right. There was the police who was smiled during serious line deliveries and you couldn't tell if he was joking or not yeah yeah i guess like he, he'll <laughs> yeah, show up yeah no, I, 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 okay. adam paley yeah who, who played yeah his, his like right hand like his like the second guy yeah he's 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 in the movie again mm-hmm. he's and like then, uh, he's like a weird uh yeah like a, a, a comedian guy who's just he, he always shows up in a bunch of random comedies right and then uh, yeah he was weighed yes maybe he'll he'll just Roll around. Before. Yeah, and I, I, we, we don't, we don't know anybody else who. Yeah, because it's just, yeah, it's the regular. It's Tom and Maddie, um, Agent Stone and Maddie's uh, sister are the only other ones that we know. Right. I guess back. they weren't really any other wacky. Yeah, like, there's nobody humans, else. Uh, that maybe the toilet paper yeah. from the bar will return. Uh, oh, Stephen, you were going to say something, and I interrupted with nonsense. I was going to ask you if you clapped when you saw Sodic stand on the wing of the plane. Oh. He did a pose. I pointed. <laughs> I got excited, and then and then he held on to it because the movie went. Oh wait, there's real physics. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Sonic Lost World reference to the uh, uh, start of the game. Oh, it's true. So this movie is going to reference Lost World and also Lost World. I'm curious. Yeah, at the end of this movie, halfway through the credits, you'll see two horns rise from the darkness, and it'll be Zavok. <gasps> oh no, oh, God! Can you? If they keep on making these forever, Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> they're eventually like at some point they're gonna go. We need villains, and they'll they'll pull out the deadly six, and then mm. yeah, Jim Carrey will be like walking through a little lab with Agent Stone. He'll be like, "Hmm, this is rather hexing, isn't it, Agent Stone?" <gasps> I've got it. <laughs> oh no! I I, re- I really want to know like how like because. Uh, <laughs> Because we, we, cause we, like, in both, for both this movie and the last movie, both mm-hmm. Marza and Blur Studio are credited as uh, two of the production companies. But it's like, we don't know, because the, there's also another studio called Moving Picture Company, who is responsible for most of the visual effects and the animation in both this mm-hmm. movie and the last one. So it's like, so does that mean Marza Planet and Blur aren't doing the animation? And it's like, because it's like, I want to know, like, the, how, how much involvement do those two studios have? It's like, is there actual, like, like are, are are they are they do they actually put some work into like some of the character animation because like i want to i want to I wanna know who to give credit to the character animation because like that was like the best part of the first movie and it's like it's just looks just as good now in this one hmm. and it's, it's just weird that mm-hmm. it was like yeah because i feel like if there's one thing i'd probably ask tyson hess like something that like i could actually be answered be like okay how much like how much it is like like what is marza and blur's like actual involvement in these movies And he says, oh, who are you? <laughs> Starts walking the other direction. <laughs> he's, like, get away. he's like, get away from me. Uh, yeah. Did you notice that Sonic runs on water? It's the very first thing he does. That's Wow. Oh, yeah. Because um, he's fast. And if you look at Tails' shoes, they have shoelaces. I don't know why I made that a bullet point. But he does have his <laughs> shoelaces. Yeah, he, yeah, he has little boy shoes. It's cute. And I, Little boy shoes. And, and, and I love how fluffy both his and Sonic's socks are. Like it's like, oh yeah, they, they actually are socks, Sega. They aren't flaps on the shoes. You mean the boots rolled down? Is that is that is that what they said they were? We can't, we can't do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> we we can't. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's start the second part of the Sonic. <laughs> Why they rolled down? That's fine. We've, we've been here an hour and ten minutes. Um, oh god, we have. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. I didn't think I'd ever be in a spot where I'm like, man, I'm more confidently excited for the second Sonic movie Me either than anything else from Sonic. But I feel more confident. I, I at least feel very confident. I believe this movie theater. Happy. Unless something weird happens, it seems pretty solid. There'll be another dumb kids movie that most people will watch and go, eh, okay. But. As a Sonic nerd, it looks pretty okay. 
Uh, is it weird that I'm more excited for this movie than the next game? It feels uh, wrong. Oh. It feels wrong. But I this am. This trailer did give a lot more to chew yeah. on. The other one's very vague, and you don't see gameplay, that's true. really. We haven't seen enough. So I, I think that's like perfectly reasonable, honestly. Okay. Plus, Sonic Team's track record, not mentioned. <laughs> yeah, but but I guess that's... that. Is that a discussion for, for another video? or <gasps> For another video? Uh, unless for another video i what if we recorded that one next uh, wink double at views <laughs> double views double yo that was my favorite sonic forces move <laughs> to get up um all right well then okay. i guess i'll see um, all of you in the next video <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> all right. we'll we'll go grab some popcorn and come back for the next feature length ftcr video <laughs> That's right. This God. one. Oh, it'll be longer. Bye, everybody. Thank you. I hope the movie's good. Let us know what you thought. Down in the comment zone, Act 1. Right. We'll see you in Act 2. Oh, okay, okay. Bada, 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 bing. Right, right. So so if you were from the future, uh, specifically April 8th, uh, 2022, I would like you to, to respond to this video and say, I saw the movie. And then <laughs> either you put a smiley face if you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> or do a, a sad face if you didn't like it, or do a, a third emoji if your feelings are conflicted. Thank you. Use the YouTube video response feature and upload your thoughts. <laughs> right. Hit, hit, hit that comment like button, please. <laughs>